everybody welcome back to another vlog as usual i'm running behind um i'm just been getting obi ready so he's all plastered up and everything and i realized that i'd uh started filling up my water container about half an hour ago so i've just run down the field and put that on the lorry but anyway welcome back today me and obi are heading up to elms farm to do a bit of bd so it's a new venue and it's a new test different judge too um so we were actually out competing last week i might put a little clip in here Um, we did elementary five again back at Vale View and it was just a bit of a meh day um, I mean we did win we won our section but we didn't get that all important 63% that we need for area festivals so we are giving it another go today here he is he's made a right mess on the yard so it's all plaited up looking beautiful Sooty's here too tucking into the hay might have to move her actually before I go um, so yeah, that's the plan for today, heading up to Elms Farm. Uh, the time now is about half past nine, I think. I don't know, so it's about half past nine. And I'm not on until quarter to 12, uh, but what a lovely time. I love that kind of time. So yeah, I do kind of really like either early times or sort of midday times. Uh, I'm not a sort of afternoon type person. Sorry, they keep snorting in the background, so this might be a bit chopped up. Because you're both being very, very noisy. Franco is here too. He's up in the field somewhere. Um, I did actually take Franco jumping yesterday. So I had a jump lesson on him yesterday. And he was fantastic. Anyway, as I said, I am actually running late. Um, so all I need to do now is just tidy up the yard a little bit, get Obi's boots on and stuff. I'm just gonna move Sooty as well so she doesn't eat all of the haylage. Um, and I'll see you when I get up there. The lovely Shelley from Everyday Eventers, who is the best friend a person can have. Sorry, you've got to go. She's so depressed. Uh, Shelley is meeting me up there. So she will be top grooming and videoing for me. Um, so yeah, I will see you all when we get up there. Or should we go say hello to Obi first? Let's go say hello to Obi first and then I'll leave you and pick you up when we get to Elm's Farm. Um, so he's been a really, really good boy. This week, um, we've just been doing a bit of hacking. We haven't done any schooling since last week. Um, and he had a bit more shockwave this week, but the vets were really happy with him. Weren't they, old sausage? And he seems a bit happier in himself, so got big hopes for him today but we're just gonna go and enjoy ourselves aren't we yes anyway see you later guys right guys so after saying that I was gonna be really good at vlogging and I was gonna update you when I got there it turns out that I did not do that and that is because I was late getting there so I was behind at home I then thought I could maybe make up time in the horse box and I managed to be even later so I had about 20 minutes until the time I wanted to get on and Obi needed to have his massage pad on. I needed to kind of see where I was warming up, where I was riding, because I've not, this was my first BD competition at Elms Farm. And then also Shelley was there. And the first thing that me and Shelley do is talk our socks off. So there is no intro. So this is your intro. Um, 
so you'll see here i'm just warming obi up i'm just going through my normal warm-up so if you've seen any of my other vlogs i just stick to what i feel works for him so it's starting off i give him a really really decent walk i obviously haven't filmed the whole of the walk here well shelly hasn't filmed the whole of the walk because it's really boring but i give him a good kind of five six minutes walking and then start picking him up but i really want to work on at this point is just getting him stretching across his back swinging through a little bit and just working a little bit more through and then once he's really nice and warmed up i'll then start picking him up this works really really well for obi and it's something that i've done for years and yeah i'm not going to change it now you'll see here i've just started to pick him up a little bit and we're now working on our canter and what I'm looking at here is a little bit of counter canter because this is what comes up in the test and I hadn't done any at home. And when I do do it at home, Obi can be an absolute monkey and stick in some flying changes. So uh, yeah, I was quite pleased with those and he was actually a very, very good boy. Um, and then just before I go into the test, so you'll see I sort of picked him up about 80% and then just before I'm about to go into the test, so like five minutes before, I'll pick him up kind of 100% of the way. And it's just because he struggles to stay in the correct frame for prolonged periods of time. So on to the test then. So we're starting off with A, entering collected trot, at X, halt, salute, proceeding collected trot, and then C, track left. So very similar to elementary five. Um, and for this, we scored a 6.5 and it said we stepped wide in the halt, but we had a positive move off. It's not a bad start. We've then got SF, change the rain in medium trot and F, collected trot, for which we scored a six. Our mediums are not the best thing in the world. It says needs to develop for clearer difference. And that that is just the, the thing with Obi. He just does not have a particularly big medium trot. Um, also, like to say, bless her, Shelley is filming here on my rubbish phone. Um, and she's done such a good job. But I think it was a bit of a struggle for us. So I'm afraid you can't really see that top end. But there we go. At uh, A, we're then turning down the centre line, and at L, we're leg yielding right to R, which we got a 6.5, uh, and she's just put quarters on the turn. Oh, no, sorry, she said on shoulders on the turn, which is fair enough. We've then got at R, a circle left 10 metres, and she's put on shoulders, but again for 6.5. And then we've got a walk transition between R and M. So this is three to five steps and we scored a seven. So I was really, really pleased with that seven. Uh, at C, we've then got a transition to collected canter. And then at H, a circle left 10 meters and we got a 6.5 and she's put balance. Uh, then we've got medium canter between H and K and then K collected canter for which she's given us a six. And I think that's fair. And this is where I've let us down because I don't know the test that well, because I looked at the test the day before. Um, I was a bit slow to get going with the medium canter because I was worried about his quarters coming in. So there we go. Okay, then we've got a half circle left 10 metres, returning to the track between V and E, and then showing counter canter, which we got a seven. So chuffed about that seven. Um, we've then got a transition to collected trot, which we got another seven for. So the sevens are starting to come, thank God. Uh, we've then got change the rain in medium trot, RK, and then K collected trot, same thing she's put a six and she said quickening for which i thought it felt nice but looking at it here that is not medium jess so that is my fault uh we've then got a turn down the center line l leg yield left to s and we got a seven for this leg yield so it's interesting that actually like our counter canter and our leg yields and things which are the technical bit are scoring much better than some of the more basic stuff um, S, we've then got a circle right 10 metres, for which we scored a 6.5. She said some loss of balance. Again, bad preparation for me. And then this was disappointing. So my transition to walk this way between S and H, so three to five steps, we got a 6.5 and said he was just dropping his pole, which was annoying because normally he's really good at those. Uh, we've then got, again, transition to collective canter, and I was late with that. Again, Brad preparation, so we got a six. Really annoying, because all of these marks that have dropped down, they've been my fault. Uh, we've then got the circle right at M. We've then got MF, medium canter, F collected canter. And she said I was slow to ask for medium, same problem again. So that was a six. So you'll see it's just my bad preparation and not knowing the test that has caused the marks to drop down. 
F, we've got half circle right 10 meters, returning to the track between P and B, and then counter canter, we got another seven, which I was chuffed to bits with. Uh, transition to collected trot at M, we got a 6.5, she said uh, loss of balance. And then here at C, we've got a halt, we've got a rain back three to five steps. And she's given us a seven. I'm going to be honest, I thought it deserved a little bit more than a seven. She said it was a lovely hole, but slightly crooked. And I don't think it is. And I didn't feel like it was. So I was a little bit disappointed because Rainback's ROB's um, jam. Next thing then is change the rain and extended walk. And I just let go of the reins a little bit. I've gone into a bit of free walk on a long rain because I think I've gone, oh my God, thank goodness that all of the hard stuff's over. So we've got a 6.5. And she said it's just not extended. So I really need to work on keeping him up a little bit more and getting him, you know, really stepping through and over tracking. Uh, we've then got BK change the rain in medium walk for which we got a seven, which is funny because the judge at Vale View has never given us above a six for our walk, even though Obi has a very good um, rhythmical forward walk. Um, so that was nice. We then got KA medium walk and A turned down the center line for which she's given us a seven. We've then got D, transition to collected trot, LX, medium trot, for which we scored a six, again, with quickening. Uh, but then at G, she said a pro progressive transition to halt, um, which is at G. Did I say that? Don't know. And I got a seven. So really chuffed with that. And then our collectives, we got seven for paces, 6.5 for impulsion, six for cooperation, 6.5 for rider's seat, giving us 65.3% overall. And as you'll see on this little end clip here, I give Shelley a thumbs up and a big smile because I'm absolutely chuffed to bits. And we won our section. Hello, everybody. So we are here. We are, in fact, done because I was a little bit late getting here. Um, my wonderful groom was on time, obviously. In fact, she was early. She'd sussed out where I was going, where I was warming up. Here she is. I'm not letting her duck out today. Hello. Here she is. Hello. Um, so yeah, he warmed up beautifully. His test was just beautiful. I don't know if, it, I don't know if we, we can do much more than that. That was the best we could do. My um, second counter transition was a little bit late, so it was just after C, um, and his walks weren't as sort of powerful and forward as they could have been. Otherwise, I am thrilled to bits. His counter canter just felt amazing, and he can really, really struggle with counter canter. So, over the moon, the judge smiled at the end as well. So, just want that 63. So, yeah, so proud of him. Such a legend, and I'll. Uh, update you when we have the results but we're gonna get a coffee yeah. it's a shame there's not prosecco but there's not so a coffee we'll have to do and we will see you when we have the results but i think it's about a 66 no. shelly said i'm gonna say i'm gonna come on that. i'm going 68 69 that was impressive she's going 68 69 i mean if i get that i will be drinking prosecco this evening uh i'm saying 66 65 66 but even still really proud of him i think he definitely prefers doing his tests outside and he was just super lucky, looks proud of himself. Oh yes. Right everybody, that is us home. I was just letting, oh where's he gone? Obi have a little bit of a munch, the other two are there too. Um, I'm absolutely over the moon. Um, so I'm not 100% sure where we've placed because my class was quite a big one and it's still running, but we were in first place when I left. So fingers crossed that's still the case. Um, but more importantly, we got the score we needed. So we got a 65.3. So that was the final score we needed to get to area festivals. Can you believe it? We have qualified for area festivals at elementary level. I'm over the moon. I'm just over the moon. Anyway, the comments were lovely. The judge was really, really fair. We got some sevens and things for some of the more technical stuff. So like our counter canter, which sometimes he can struggle with. Um, but yeah, he got a seven for that. We got a seven for our halt and rain back as well. So I was thrilled with that. A couple of the places where the mark slipped down, you would have just seen on the dress, on the test, um, were just from bad preparation from me. So one of our medium canters, she said it was a bit slow to develop. Some of my circles, we lost a bit of balance. And that's just purely, I think, because... I learnt the test yesterday, um, so I haven't had an opportunity to ride through it or practice the movements and I think, yeah, I just didn't then prepare the movements properly. But to still get 65, even with a couple of oopsies from me, is amazing and it just goes to show that actually 
um, we could potentially get an even better score. So yeah, must remember, tests at this level really need to practice first, but yeah, absolutely thrilled with him. What a good boy he is, he's really enjoying the grass in here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pop him out now. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope if you are watching this test to learn it, if we can do it, you can do it. Just run through it first and prepare your movements. But yeah, really, really good. Absolutely chuffed with him. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, please do like, comment, share, subscribe, follow us on Instagram as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.